Welcome to our OLAP analysis video tutorial. The OLAP analysis module of the Prognos platform provides convenient graphical user interface for creating ad hoc reports and performing OLAP analysis. The module enables you to create OLAP reports and represent data in tables, charts, maps, double charts for the purpose of visual representation. The module provides tools to filter, sort, and perform conditional data formatting. The module enables you to calculate computable indicators on the fly, perform 80-20 analysis, and build trends. Besides, the module supports data representation via mapping services such as Google, Bing, Yandex, and so on. So, what does the OLAP analysis module look like? The module's window is comprised of a work area where different data representations appear. It also has a side panel to control data representations in the work area. The module enables you to visualize data using a number of formats tables, charts, maps, bubble charts, bubble trees, and tree maps. Let's create a new OLAP report. As data sources for your report, you can use multidimensional cubes and time series databases. Folders in the repository are filtered automatically by data sources available in them in order to make it easy for you to search for an object. You can also import data from external files. Let's use an Excel file as a data source for the OLAP report. At the next page, select columns contain the dictionary data. All table columns are selected for import automatically. Let's unselect the column with indicator values. This column will be selected automatically at the next page of the wizard. Then we need to choose cube as a data consumer. After that, we choose the existing dictionary for countries and create a new one for indicators. Then we create a new calendar dictionary with annual periods for reporting dates. And now we should save the object for import. After data import, the OLAP report created on the basis of the Excel file data appears. Let's customize it. To do so, you need to check appropriate elements for all cube dimensions. Column headers now contain dates, while rows contain territories. Let's leave the layout of all dimensions as it is. First of all, we need to select data for the period of 6 years from 2005 to 2010. Then we check all countries in South America. And finally, we check gross national income in indicator's dimension. As a result, we get a table containing data on the gross national income of South American countries for the period from 2005 to 2010. To hide empty rows and columns in the table, let's use data filtering. Now we need to save the OLAP report and name it. You can add a header to the report sheet. You have an option to insert a simple header or a header with controls. Let's make the report name as its heading. The module enables you to perform simple data transformations. For example, you can analyze changes in the gross national income of countries in South America. In addition, you can rank table data based on cell values and selected conditions. For example, you can use the ranking function to find out which South American countries demonstrated the highest gross national income growth for 2010. Let's return to the initial table view by unchecking ranking and transformations. At the table tab of the toolbar, you can find advanced data table settings. Here, for example, you can rotate the table by transposing columns and rows. The style and formatting menu enables you to color tables according to predefined color layouts. The advanced settings are accessible on the view panel of the widget tab of the sidebar. By applying conditional formatting, you can highlight cells depending on their values. For example, you can highlight most significant transformations and in indicators contained in the table. You can also make reports more visually compelling by adding growth or decline arrows. They are added to every cell and show changes as compared to the neighboring columns or rows. Advanced conditional formatting settings are available on the analysis panel of the widget menu of the sidebar. The OLAP analysis module supports value distribution analysis methods. Analysis is performed based on data in the selected column. By default, 8020 method is used for the value distribution analysis. Now we'll work with source data. Let's disable 8020 analysis. The module supports calculations of totals such as sum, mode, median, and so on. For example, we can estimate average gross national income of countries in South America. You can set up calculation of totals on the totals panel. We've learned how to represent data in tables. Let's learn how to represent data in charts. A chart is built based on data contained in the table. For a better representation, a chart often requires customization or less data in table. 
The widget sidebar composition depends on the type of chart currently enabled. The Chart tab is common for all types of charts. It contains general parameters and setting for the current type of chart. Here you can choose the type of chart such as line chart, bar chart, scatter chart, mixed chart, and so on. To display each country's contribution in the total amount, let's check absolute stacking. The legend tab enables you to control legend location and display. Using legend, you can enable and disable series representation in a chart. The plot area tab enables you to set look and feel of the chart plot area. For example, you can set up parameters of the plot area's fill or disable it. On the data series tab, you can customize visual representation of each data series. You can also move it to a secondary access or enable data labels. The OLAP analysis module supports data navigation in charts using a data series context menu. In order to display in the chart only those series you need, select them, then choose the keep only item from the context menu. For example, let's refine the chart by leaving data on South American countries for 2007 only. To show hidden data series, use the reset button on the ribbon. We've learned how to represent data in tables and charts. Now let's represent data on a map. When we switch to a map, the locations of the dimensions change. Therefore, the OLAP analysis module asks you to confirm whether you want to continue. When you move to a map, territory and calendar dimensions are defined automatically. All elements are checked for the territory dimension. Another dimension will be defined as the dimension for observed indicators. By default, the cube facts dimension is selected as the observed indicators dimension. Let's choose the indicators dimension as observed indicators. Let's choose GDP growth as the color indicator. As display parameters, you can use predefined color layouts to customize color formatting. Let's set color indicator display parameters manually. Let's add a legend to the map and place it at bottom left. Then, let's choose 3D map representation. Let's add one more indicator to the map, the volume indicator. As a volume indicator, let's select the number of internet users. Now, the map shows two indicators. One is shown by color gradient, the other by territory height. Let's save the current report as a new OLAP report by giving it a new name. As you can see, the map header takes the new name. You can track indicator changes in Dynamics using the time scale. The OLAP analysis module supports integration with mapping services. For example, you can display the color indicator on Google Maps. Let's move to the next form of data representation, bubble chart. A bubble chart is a special chart form that allows representing up to four indicators simultaneously. Two indicators are observation object coordinates along vertical and horizontal axes. The third one is a circular or bubble diameter, and the fourth one is its color. When color indicator is not set, the legend displays observation objects, in our case, countries. Let's choose the indicator dimension as metrics. Let's set up representation of indicators. Let's display population growth along the horizontal axis and internet users along the vertical axis. GDP growth will serve as the size indicator. Let's save the current report as a new OLAP report by giving it a new name. As you can see, bubble chart header takes the new name. Like a map, a bubble chart allows you to track indicator changes in dynamics. As you can see, the number of internet users saw active growth during all six years. In 2009, GDP slumped in all countries in South America. The population growth decreased in South American countries throughout the selected period. In your OLAP report, you can create several data sheets. Each sheet can contain data from any source with customized data representation. Let's add one more sheet with data on GDP growth in South American countries as a table. Let's add a report header with controls in order to be able to change selected dimensions using the header. By default, the header displays names of selected elements of fixed dimensions. In this case, they are the indicator and fact. You can set up a header element display at the widget tab of the sidebar. Let's display the indicator represented in the table in the report header. Now let's use the header to represent a new indicator on the table gross national income. The OLAP report is exportable to external formats with the current data representation, but without interactivity features. In this case, bubble charts representation is exported to PDF format, which allows you to compare three indicators across South American countries simultaneously, along the X and Y axes, and bubble size. After export, the report saves the same colors for country differentiation. The second sheet of the exported report contains data representation in the table. 
So, we've created two OLAP reports that can be used for OLAP analysis of socioeconomic indicators. The generated OLAP report can be also exported to external files, printed or published for discussion on corporate portals or across social media. You can work with OLAP analysis tools using both web and desktop applications of the Prognos platform. Our OLAP analysis video tutorial is over. Thank you for your attention.